Chapter 7 Cascading Style Sheet Cascading Style Sheets, fondly referred to as CSS, is a simple design language intended to simplify the process of making web pages presentable. CSS handles the look and feel part of a web page. Using CSS, you can control the color of the text, the style of fonts, the spacing between paragraphs, layout designs, as well as a variety of other effects. Advantages of CSS CSS is easy to learn and understand. It saves time. You can define a style for each HTML element and apply it to as many web pages as you want. It is easy to maintain. To make a global change, simply change the style and all elements in all the web pages will be updated automatically. CSS has a much wider array of attributes than HTML. It has more advanced options. Parts of a style sheet A style sheet consists of one or more rules that describe how document elements should be displayed. A rule in CSS has two parts, the selector and the declaration. The declaration also has two parts, the property and the value. A CSS comprises of style rules that are interpreted by the browser and then applied to the corresponding elements in your document. A style rule is made of selector and declaration. Selector A selector is an HTML tag at which a style will be applied. This could be any tag like H1 or table, etc. For example, if you want to change the behavior of H1 element, let's say its color should be green, then you would use H1 as a selector. Property A property is a type of attribute of HTML tag. It defines how different elements look on the web page. Put simply, all the HTML attributes are converted into CSS properties. They could be color, border, background, etc. Value Values are assigned to properties. For example, color property can have value either red or hashtag F1, 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 etc. Declaration a property and its value collectively is known as declaration. For example, color is the property and green is the value. You can put CSS style rule syntax as follows. CSS rules. CSS always has two parts, selector and declaration. Selector can be HTML element like H1 or P. Each declaration comes with a combination of name and value separated by colon. Declarations are given inside curly braces, as shown on the screen. Each declaration is separated by a semicolon. If the value of a property is more than one word, put quotes around that value. An example is shown on the screen. You can group selectors. Separate each selector with a comma. The example on the screen groups headers 1, 2 and 3 and makes them all yellow. You can define a color and text alignment attribute of paragraph tag as follows. Inserting style sheet code. There are three ways of inserting style sheet to HTML code. Inline style. You can use style attribute of any HTML element to define style rules. In this method, style declaration is given with each individual element with the help of style attribute. These rules will be applied to that element only. It can be used with any element in the body section, including the body tag. Style rules can be specified right in the HTML tag, with style is equal to, within double quotes, style rules. An example is shown on the screen. Specifying inline styles is useful when you only want to apply those styles to a specific element. It is not efficient to use this style sheet as the declaration is to be repeated with every element. Internal or Embedded Style Sheet You can put your CSS rules into an HTML document using the style element. This tag is placed inside the opening head and closing head tags. It has a wider scope as the effects get applied to all the elements of the type with which style declaration has been specified. Following is the example of Internal or Embedded Style Sheet. External Style Sheet An external style sheet is just a text file containing property, value style rules. 
The only difference between the contents of an external style sheet and having your style rules in the document itself is that you do not include the opening style and the closing style tags or any other HTML tags. The link element can be used to include an external style sheet file in your HTML document. Linking to an external style sheet is ideal when applying styles to many pages. With an external style sheet, you can change the look of an entire website by changing one file. Each page must link to the style sheet using the link tag. An external style sheet is a separate text file with .css extension. CSS Background CSS background properties or attributes add background effects to an element. It includes setting the background color, the background as an image, repeat a background image and set a background image position on a page. Attribute Background Color This property is used to set the background color of an element. The syntax is as follows, where value is equal to color or RGB color code. Attribute Background Image This property is used to set the background image of an element. The syntax is as follows, where value is equal to the URL or path of the image. Attribute Background Repeat This property is used to control the repetition of an image in the background. The syntax is as follows, where value is equal to no repeat or repeat X or repeat Y or repeat. With no repeat value, the image will not be repeated. With repeat X, the image will be repeated horizontally. With repeat Y, the image will be repeated vertically. And with repeat, which is the default value, the image will be repeated in both the directions. Attribute Background Position This property is used to control the position of an image in the background. The syntax is as follows, where value could be either X position followed by Y position, or it could be X percentage followed by Y percentage, or it could be one of the three top, center or bottom, or it could be one of the three left, center and right. X position followed by Y position specifies the horizontal and vertical position respectively in units of length. X percentage followed by Y percentage specifies the horizontal and vertical position in percentage. Top, center, bottom and left, center, right are keywords for vertical and horizontal position values respectively. Attribute Background Attachment This property is used to control the scrolling of an image in the background. The syntax is as follows, where value is equal to fixed or scroll. Let us implement the above concepts into a simple HTML code. CSS Text Style CSS text properties or attributes add some effects to the appearance of the text. Some of the effects added to the text are underline, uppercase, shadows, etc. Attribute text align. This property is used to horizontally align the text of a document. The syntax is as follows, where value could be either left, right, center or justify. Attribute text decoration. This property is used to underline, overline and strike through text. The syntax is as follows, where value could be underline or overline or line through or blink or none. Attribute color. This property is used to set the color of a text. The syntax is as follows, where value could be color name or RGB color code or hexadecimal code. Attribute text transform. This property is used to capitalize text or convert text to uppercase or lowercase letters. The syntax is as follows, where value could be capitalize or uppercase or lowercase or none. Capitalize capitalizes the first letter of each word. Uppercase capitalizes all letters of each word. Lowercase converts all letters of each word to small case. And if you choose none, the text remains unaffected. Property Text Shadow This property is used to set the text shadow around a text. The syntax is as follows, where value could be H shadow followed by V shadow followed by color. H shadow specifies the distance of the horizontal shadow. V shadow specifies the distance of the vertical shadow and color specifies the color of the shadow. Attribute Text Indent 
This property is used to indent the text of a paragraph. The syntax is as follows. Where value is equal to length in pixels or percentage. Attribute line height. This property is used to specify the space. The syntax is as follows between two lines of the text. Where value could be number, length, percentage or normal. CSS font style. CSS font properties or attributes are used to set the appearance of individual characters in a line of text like font size, style, etc. Attribute font family. This property is used to change the face of a font. The syntax is as follows, where value could be family name or generic family. Attribute font size. This property is used to increase or decrease the size of a font. The syntax is as follows, where value could be extra extra small, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, extra extra large, smaller, larger, length or in percentage. Attribute font style. This property is used to make a font normal, italic or oblique. The syntax is as follows, where value could be normal, italic or oblique. Attribute font. This property is used as shorthand to set all the above properties in one single declaration. The syntax is as follows, where value is equal to font style, followed by font size, followed by font family. Attribute font weight. This property is used to set the weight of a font. The syntax is as follows, where value could be normal, bold, bolder, lighter, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 or 900. Border properties. Border properties help you to set border width, border color, border style of an HTML element. Attribute border width. This property is used to specify the width of all the four borders of an element. Its default value is medium. The syntax is as follows, where value could be thin or thick or medium or length in pixel. Attribute border color. This property is used to specify the color of the borders surrounding an element. Color of bottom, top, left and right sides of an element's border can be changed. The syntax is as follows. Where value could be color name or RGB color code or hexadecimal code. Attribute border style. This property is used to set the style of the border. By default, its value is none. The syntax is as follows. Where value could be none or hidden or dotted or dashed or solid or double or groove or ridge or inset or outset. Attribute border. This property is used as a shorthand to set all the above properties in one single declaration. The syntax is as follows. Always declare border style property before the border width and border color property because an element must have border before its width and color is set or changed.